Our email feature offers a convenient way to send forms, images, and general messages to your clients and companies. But before you can use this feature, you must configure your email within the program. In this tutorial, we will cover what information you need to know to set up your email and where to enter that information in the program. This Tech Talk first covers our desktop products, then agency to go at the end, but both products will require the same information collected from your host. Here we are in our flagship product, Agency Pro, but you will find these same screens in Easy Apps, Easy Apps Pro, and Easy Agent. When setting up the email, it is best to go to a client with a good test email, such as yourself, then jump to Accords and open up any Accord form. From this form, select Email Customer from the File menu. This opens an email directed to the email address on the client's file. Click the Email Setup button. Our desktop products offer two ways to configure your outgoing email. You can either enter all of the information for your email host's outgoing server, or those users who have a desktop version of Outlook can check the box marked Send Through Outlook. Users who do not have a local copy of Outlook need the outgoing server information provided by their email host. Many times you can simply log into your email and get this information from their help files. For some of the more popular email hosts, you may find this information simply using a Google search such as I've done here. Keep in mind as you gather this information that your email host may have special protocol for sending through a third-party application. In these cases, you may have to contact their support to configure your email account to accept these outgoing emails. Back in Agency Pro, I will enter my email address in the default from field and enter my name as it will be presented on my outgoing email. The rest I fill in according to host specifications. When emailing forms using this protocol, you will not see them in a sent box on your webmail application. So if you would like to receive a copy of your sent email, check the box to automatically CC copy to sender. The signature field offers 10 lines of text to enter your closing signature, agency information, and a disclaimer that will automatically go out on emails sent. If you have Outlook loaded locally on your workstation, then simply fill in the name and signature fields, then check the Send Through Outlook box. Click OK to close the setup screen and let's send a test message. Be sure in the To field is a good recipient to send this test, such as yourself, then click the Send Email button. If you configured to send through Outlook, a message should appear stating the message was successfully sent to Outlook. And you will see this message cycle through your Outbox, then into Sent like any other Outlook message. If you configure directly through your host, the email form will simply close if successfully sent. If you chose to CC a copy to sender, you will receive this copy shortly. If something went wrong, it will give an error and typically a long error code. Prior to troubleshooting the configuration, close your form and open it back up to break the prior connection. Return to the email setup screen and be sure you have the proper protocols checked and the right port entered. If you make changes, test it again, being sure to close and reopen the form between failures. When you are sure the setup information is correct and your email is continuing to fail, contact your email host for further assistance. As security gets tighter, more and more hosts are putting in place restrictive settings that may have to be lifted to send through a third-party program such as ours. If you are an agency to go user, the setup is very similar. However, since this is not a desktop application, it has no ability to hand over the email to a locally installed copy of Outlook, so the outgoing email server information must be entered. To do this, select the Agency button, then choose Employees. 
Select your employee record and click Edit. On the right side of the screen, enter the email server, username, password, port, and selected proper protocol settings according to your host specifications. You have the option to enter your signature to be stamped to outgoing email and to have a copy CC'd to you. Click OK to save the changes and test your email by clicking the email button. Fill in the to field with a good test email address. Enter something in the subject field, then click send email. If this was successful, it will flash an email sent message. If the test email did not send successfully, use the same troubleshooting process of confirming the correct email information on the setup screen, then contacting the host for further assistance. Now that you are set up to email, see more on email workflow in your product tutorials.